Hello, welcome to this place on the internet. I talk about comic books. Uh, I've been absent simply because I'm on tour and these rare moments where there's not another human being in my space, I typically use them to shower and unwind. So uh, perhaps lazy on my part, <clears throat> I'll be redoubling uh, my efforts to uh, first answer your questions, which I appreciate, and also just get back to regular daily or you know, at least for the time being, every couple of days, topics. The one I wanted to address today is uh, body, body type. Uh, how different figures are depicted in comics and how we've managed to politicize this to such a degree that nothing is fun anymore. Now, I don't want to take anything away from the discourse about uh, the over-sexualization, some would argue, the sexism, others would, would say, Whatever the case, I, I don't, I'm not saying that those aren't worthwhile conversations. What I am saying is that they're conversations that have been very thoroughly uh, tread at this point. That lands us here, where there's a great effort to not offend. Uh, because all of that is in the ether and constantly in the back of everybody's mind, it's influencing character design in a way that I think is not very productive and not because I want to see the biggest titties possible or, you know, long legs or whatever the, you know, whatever the classic thing that we did in comics is. It's not because I need to see that. It is, however, <clears throat> uh, worth saying that there is something to imprint. There, uh, It's almost like looking at, you know, classic manga, classic manga, classic Disney does this better than other places where characters are easily easily distinguished by their silhouette. There's something to that, and we've lost that entirely. I mean, this is not, and I don't want to over-politicize the thing, but it, it, it is just a fact that, you know, uh, Captain Marvel and Speedball have the same figure. Now... Speedball's figure used to be kind of interesting in comics because he was almost Spider-Man-like, right? He was a teen, a young man, and slender, <clears throat> and that was that was interesting. Uh, that was in contrast, right? And I think that that's maybe where we're going to arrive with this, is that there just needs to be a healthy contrast between uh, figure shapes and uh, different body types, right? So nothing can be off limits. Once you put something off limits, you make it impossible to, to distinguish. If everybody is built like, you know, Timothy Chalamet or something, it, it the books lose character. And because of this fear that we have, that's just where we're at. I, I mean, the same thing with faces, but that's, that's long been the case, uh, you know, American comic book artists sometimes uh, struggle, uh, at least in a certain certain kind of uh, tier, uh, to distinguish uh, uh, faces and really give them uh, sort of the character that you'd want on a character. But a lot of that was made up for in body, which, let's just be frank, it's the thing that 14-year-old boys start drawing in their notebooks, you know? And uh, some of those 14-year-old boys become... 32 year old artists that uh, are still in the habit of drawing shapely women. <clears throat> now, should every woman be shapely in comics? No. But we also don't need to see everything as a reaction. It is so damn tiring to see the same arguments year after year. This guy thinks that because the characters don't have titties anymore, that it's part of an agenda. And this guy thinks that if the characters do have titties, it's a regression. And it's, that's, not how, that's not how artists think. And that's, I, I wish that we could take, not the politics out of art, obviously, but I wish we could stop projecting our politics onto people who are craftspeople, who, who, who are making something that has intention outside of what you're putting on it. You know, I work with a couple artists who are just died in the wool. They love the 
figure. They love form and they love exaggeration. They, they, they could have worked in caricature. They could have worked in kind of that exaggerated cartoony. And instead they arrived at this uh, uh, kind of familiar comic book form that, that we all love. But there is a cartoony element to their, to, to their shapes. And if you attempted to neuter that in whatever way, I don't know what's gained, right? Right now, certain publishers seem committed to not risking offense. And in doing so, they're pushing away one type of reader, obviously, who believes that it's calculated, that, that, that uh, they're trying to engineer or something, right? And maybe that's conspiratorial, but it is what they think. So you're pushing that person away. And okay, maybe you say, but I don't want that person as a reader. Fine. I mean, you're a corporation. Maybe you, sh maybe you should, you know. it's I don't know if it's your job to judge people. It's probably more your job to s sell things. But let's say that the thing that they want, you're not comfortable selling. Okay, fine. So uh, you're also, I believe at the end of the day, just taking the icing off of the cake. Uh, there's still something there, obviously. There's still storytelling. But it doesn't taste as good because uh, there's just... People want that visual, they want cues. They want something that, that, that they can recognize from 50 yards away. They want something that, uh, if you walk behind a friend, let's say that you're in a crowd of people and you're walking behind somebody that you've known since high school. You don't need to see his face. You can just grab his shoulder and say, hey, <laughs> you know what I mean, Terry, what's up? Because you know his walk. There's something to that. Not every character needs to make you feel like a friend. Sometimes there's somebody who's walking, oh shit, but it needs to be distinct enough. This is the essence of the thing. Can you ID somebody in the dark, in silhouette, uh, <clears throat> from above? This is like the most basic character design stuff that we talk about, and it's becoming increasingly difficult to do that. So... I just, I, I don't know to whom I'm speaking at this point because I, I'm probably preaching to the converted in some ways, but um, I just want to say that keep, your, keep the politics in comics all you want, but let's not make them fucking stupid, right? Let's not make it so, oh, boobs mean right wing. It's idiotic. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Like, that's not a thing. That's a, that's, a, that's a straw man you've created. It's not real. And on the other side of things, let's not make, let's not make flat chests. And sorry, this is all about titties. It's, it applies equally to men with big muscles. It's whatever. Just you know to what I speak. So, but going the other way, let's not make flat chests a sign that they're, you know, whatever, whatever the other side believes, that they're trans in your kids or whatever. Like, it, it just let go of these preconceived notions about what the other side is trying to do to you. Just do some co solid cartooning that involves recognizable figures and, and iconic elements to, to all the figure design. I don't know. Listen, I had 10 minutes to talk about titties and comics and, and muscles and everything. I doubt I arrived at any point, but it's nice to be back. <laughs> I'll see you soon.